Hey guys, Technivers here. Pretty excited about what I'm about to show you. So I subscribe to a couple of 3D printing newsletters that send out news pretty much weekly or monthly, um, depending on which letter it is. And this one is actually from 3dprint.com. Um, got the newsletter today, was looking through it, checking out a couple of things. And there was one thing that really, really stuck out to me that I am super excited about and I wanna show you guys. So we're gonna jump over to my browser here and we are on 3dprint.com. We're taking a look at this right here. Now this is a new printer coming out from a company called V-Shaper. Okay, so this is called the five ax and they call it that because it has five axes to print on. And what that means is the build plate itself tilts and rotates. This uh, helps alleviate the anisotropic problem that you have from layering things from top to bottom, meaning that you can get just as strong of a part horizontally and vertically instead of just horizontally because FDM printing is notoriously weak on the z-axis so um, this is really cool the other cool thing is you see this plate here this plate is tilted uh, at the moment because it's printing this part that you can't see under the play button but the cool thing about that is say I was printing a figurine and its arm was sticking straight out I could tilt the plate and print that arm straight up and down vertically without any support so that is amazing. Uh, I'm pretty sure all of our 3D printers in the next couple years are gonna be shifting to something that is a setup sort of like this, the five axis, at least the FDM machines. Um, I haven't ever seen a five axis SLA machine. That would be an interesting concept as well and I'm sure that somebody has one of those in the works somewhere. But uh, I just wanted to point this out and I am super, super stoked on it. Let's check this video just for a second here real quick. Uh, and again, this is a Polish company called V-Shaper, and they do a lot of like forward-looking stuff as far as manufacturing printers and things like that. So, um, come on, I want to see it running. There it goes. So here you see the plate is tilting, the head is staying vertical, but it is printing that on a curve. So you are not getting any layer lines in there. That is a solidly formed part. And what's really interesting is as you watch it rotate back and forth, the plate is also spinning, so you're getting these curved fins on this print that they're making here. So this is amazing technology. The other cool thing about this is that they have five different print heads. So they have a multi-material head that you can swap to. They have a milling head that you can swap to, obviously the regular print head. They have a couple others. One of the most interesting ones is a probe head that they have, which actually takes measurements and tests accuracy. So. I'm really, really looking forward to uh, seeing exactly how that works. I think it's an interesting concept and something that honestly most 3D printers should just have incorporated already. I mean, I don't think that's something that needs to be uh, detached and reattached. I think that's something that we need to work towards having on the printer at all times uh, in order to ensure that printer's accuracy. But it's a good step in the right direction. We are gonna go ahead and stop this now. Uh, if you are interested, feel free to pop over to 3dprint.com, sign up for their newsletter. They have some really, really interesting articles, and so far I've really enjoyed the stuff that I've seen from them. This is probably the first thing that's jumped out at me that I was like, oh man, I have to share this with some people, because I've seen a couple of 5-axis printers in development before, um, but they were a little bit different where the head itself would tilt, but I don't feel that that gives you the same amount of leverage and, and the same uh, number of combinations of angles basically so uh, what would be really interesting to see is the next evolution of this printer if they do put some sort of tilting function into the head itself but it looks like with this rotating and tilting build plate like things are going to be pretty amazing so stay tuned we'll have more on this in the future I'm sure this thing is not cheap because generally when you go to a printer company and it just says quote to get a request you're talking about thousands of dollars um, but this is pretty amazing. You see here it says, unlike metal hybrid manufacturing spaces, let's jump back over, uh, five axis polymer 3D printing segment has been slower to grow. There are only a few five axis machines on the market and the most notable is probably the Freeformer system from Arberg. So uh, I am really, really excited. Like I said, we'll have more in this as it develops and if you know where I can get my hands on uh, a little bit more in-depth video or if you have seen any video of this other than this video right here I would love to know 
please drop me a link in the comments down below I will make sure it gets approved because I really really am interested in seeing where this goes thanks for watching guys that's gonna be it for this episode just a quick little update on some of the things that I found and am getting excited about I will see you in the next video we might have another video up today it might not be until tomorrow I'm waiting on a package in the mail so we'll see how that goes uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below leave me a like if you don't mind and as always smash that bell for notifications you can get notified when we update upload any video uh, in the future and that is always a good thing because we have videos going up quite regularly and you don't want to miss anything 3d printing related as always this channel is brought to you by the spine patreon supporters if you'd like to support the channel on patreon head over to www.patreon.com slash technivorous That's going to be it for this video. As always, I am Technivorous, and thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out our main channel page where we do a free giveaway for our subscribers every month. So far, we've given away things like a Capricorn PTFE tubing kit and spools of filament. So the giveaway videos are always pinned to our main channel page. So all you have to do is subscribe and leave a comment on the giveaway video for the current contest. Feel free to check out this video right here. YouTube picked it from my content just for you. And if you haven't already, you can hit the subscribe button right here. So what are you waiting for? Become a technivore now. Thanks again. Technivorous out.